Okay, we're gonna wait for some people to get um, logged on. Um, so I see people are logging on right now. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Caitlin and I am an anthropology major as well as a tour guide here at Chico State. And today we are going to get to explore the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences. I'm really stoked for um, getting to do this. Um, I am really excited to learn about a ton of majors that I don't know about. Anthropology is in the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences, but I obviously I don't know any everything about all of the majors. So I'm really excited to learn. Um, hi everybody who's just coming in. Um, my name is Caitlin again. Um, I am a senior. I just started my senior year and I'm an anthropology major. So I am a part of the College of Behavioral and Sciences, but I'm so stoked to get to learn uh, all about the in uh, entire college. Um, so we are going to get started. Um, so today uh, you are going to get to meet a ton of different faculty throughout the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences. You're going to get to meet the Dean, some students who are also a part of the college, um, and you're just going to learn a lot about what it is that we do. Um, so I am going to get started by inviting the Dean of um, the college to on with us and then we'll get to learn a little bit from him um, so we're just waiting for him to connect right now for everybody that's logging on right now my name's Caitlin hi uh, we are going to learn about the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences today we're gonna take a tour um, so it looks like you've gotten connected can you hear me okay I can hear you uh, hi can you introduce yourself for everybody watching yeah, hi everybody. My name is Eddie Vela. I'm the Dean of the College of Behavior and Social Sciences and I'm uh, streaming live from the Chico State campus. Yeah, so where are you right now on campus? Um, I'm right in front of one or two buildings that house most of the departments uh, in the college and that's on campus. I'm trying to arrange myself so that you can see me. I'm trying to experiment. I want to do this outside and eventually turn my camera around if I can so people can see this beautiful Chico State campus. Yeah, absolutely. Um, All right, well, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go. I'm gonna, as I said, my name is Eddie Vela. I'm the Dean of the college um, and um, I'm really excited about this first ever Instagram live stream never done it before hope it goes well and um yeah uh, before i get started uh, i do want to take a minute to acknowledge and recognize the fact that the chico state campus and the waters that run through it um are housed on the ancestral uh lands of the machupta people the first peoples of the area uh, we recognize the historical significance uh and contributions of the machupta their current partnership with the university and our college and we look forward to our continued collaboration and partnership with the Machupta. And so uh, with that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my, turn this around and hopefully it works. There it is. So this is the Chico State campus. I'm gonna a little bit so you get an idea if you've never been to campus, how beautiful this campus is. Uh, again, I'm the dean of the college, and I'm guessing some of you don't know what a dean is, or maybe even what a college is. And uh, and so, because I'm an academic, I just can't help myself. I have to explain it a little bit. Um, so universities are usually divided into broad divisions, big areas responsible for the operations of different parts of the university. Um, colleges um, are the parts of the university that do the things that you probably are that you think of when you go to when you think about college they offer majors and minors and classes and things like that that's the division of academic affairs and so this college college of behavior and social sciences is one of seven colleges that comprise the division of academic affairs um colleges like the college of ag the college of business college of natural sciences humanities and fine arts and so forth uh, we're the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences, and even though we're one of seven colleges, we graduate probably close to a third of all students every semester. We're big, but we're very personable, and I'm really proud of the faculty, the staff, and the students that we've got here on Chico State. 
uh, community. Um, and so, uh, yeah, you're in for a treat today. I really do. Uh, um, I think you'll like what we have to offer. We're going to showcase about five of our departments, give you a little bit of a glimpse about uh, what they do. And uh, um, but uh, our college uh, actually is comprised of 11 different departments. And those departments include the Department of Anthropology, Department of Child Development, Department of Economics, Department of Geography and Planning, Department of Multicultural and Gender Studies, Department of Political Science and Criminal Justice, Department of Psychology, the Department of Public Health and Health Administration, the Social Science Program, the School of Social Work, and the Department of Sociology. I'm turning around here. You get a little bit of a glimpse of Butte Building. This is what it looks like every day when I come to work. There it is. It's a beautiful campus and, and just really quite marvelous. And I'll walk over here. Uh, to the side so that you can get a glimpse. It's about a two minute walk from my office to this beautiful part of the campus. And this is a great place to be able to come and get your lunch, hang around, get centered. Um, if you don't know about the Chico State campus, um, it, it will be a delight for you to find out if you've never been here to come and visit. Um, this is a marvelous place to go to school, sometimes referred to as the Harvard of the West. And uh, uh, we are nationally recognized as students graduating with the least amount of student debt. And we have many programs that are recognized regionally, nationally, and internationally. And so this is a great place to go to work, to go to school, uh, and and to become somebody different, somebody better. Um, and so with all that said, um, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass it off to our first presenter, Dr. Colleen Milligan from the Department of Anthropology, and she's gonna give you a little bit of a glimpse about what they do in that neck of the woods. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much um, for joining us and showing us a little bit of campus. I love seeing all of the beautiful nature that we have on campus. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get you off the live so I can go ahead and invite Dr. Milligan on. That's um, good. But yeah, thank you. Okay, I absolutely love seeing campus and being on campus and the trees are one of my favorite parts. And I love hearing about all of the different um, departments on campus, even the ones that I don't often get the chance to take classes in. Um, for anybody just joining us now, this is a tour for the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences. Um, and so right now we are going to um, speak with Dr. Milligan about anthropology. Um, can you go ahead and introduce your, yourself and what you do? Sure. Hello. My name is Dr. Colleen Milligan. I'm um, a professor of anthropology here at Chico State. I specialize specifically in a type of anthropology that we call forensic anthropology. Yeah. Um, so can you tell us about where are you on campus and what happens in the space that you are in? So the dean just showed you the outside of one of our main um, academic buildings for the college, which is Butte Hall. I am on the third floor in Butte 301 currently, which is a teaching laboratory for the Department of Anthropology. Wow. Um, okay, so what is it that you research and teach specifically, if you want to go a little bit? Sure. So what I research and um, teach specifically is what we call physical or biological anthropology. And that spans everything from looking at what would be um, primatology or molecular um, studies, as well as what we see for cultural anthropology, um, tie-ins um, with modern humans, and um, what is my personal favorite, what we look at for bioarchaeology, osteology, and forensic. Wow. Uh, so what would you say, what lesson or topic within your field of study gets students really excited to just learn about anthropology or just learn in general? Within my field of study, I think what gets a lot of our students um, most excited is not only learning more about who we are as humans, um, but what we can tell from what is some of the most personal parts of us, namely our skeletal remains. Um, and in particular, as one of the few programs in the state of California and certainly one of the largest in forensic science, um, attached to any university in the state of California. Um, we put a lot of energy on trying to make sure that our students are exposed to not just what you learn in a classroom, but also what you learn to do as a professional in the field. So we do a lot of hands-on things. Wow, that's amazing. So we got kind of a fun question in the chat. So somebody asked, does your skeleton have a nickname? Oh, 
which one in particular? Um, I think they're talking about the oh, either one. I didn't see the other one at first, but um, do either of them have nicknames? No, neither one of these have <laughs> names, but um, if you see on the table behind me, we do have, as part of our teaching collections, a number of donated skeletons. And these are donated by um, the individuals and by families to our um, program overall. And so while we don't put nicknames with them, they <laughs> And are, we are pretty thankful and pretty um, respectful of those who help us out to be better teachers. Yeah, absolutely. That's amazing. Um, and so what is it, last question, what is it that you love about Chico State students? I think what I love the most about Chico State students is um, how sort of curious and engaged they are. Um, Chico State students, no matter what you study here, um, are, a, I think, a incredibly engaged Group, not only in the community, in the school itself, with each other, um, but that leads to a lot of curiosity in the classroom setting as well as outside of the classroom, and it leads to a lot of energy um, a lot of times. Um, Chico State is an incredibly energetic place to um, work and study, and so I think that's what I enjoy the most. Yeah, it's definitely something that I've noticed and caught on to as well. Well, is there anything else about the anthropology department just in general that you'd like to add or let everybody know who's going to be watching this? Sure, I'll just end with when I said that we like to do a lot of things that are hands-on so that we can train you to be professionals, not just students, at your time at Chico State. I should also mention that besides my focus um, in forensics, our program um, has wonderful programs in archaeology, um, visual anthropology, cultural anthropology, museum studies, um, uh, and so on and so forth. And so uh, we have sort of a, an engaging department for whatever kind of anthropology you are interested in. Okay, thank you. And I've definitely noticed that as well. I've enjoyed my time in the anthropology department. Um, so thank you so much for joining us and telling us a little bit about it. No worries. We've enjoyed you having you as well, Karen. <laughs> okay, have a great day. Um, so that was amazing. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased towards anthropology being an anthropology major myself. That being said, I am super excited um, to go live with our next guest. Um, from the criminal justice and um, department and the um, community legal information center. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and find her so I can um, find them so I can invite them to come on live with us. Um, there we go. So I've sent the invitation for anybody just joining us now. This is a tour of the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences. Hi. Um, <laughs> hi. Uh, Hello. Okay. Can you guys um, introduce yourselves? Sure. Hi, I'm Matreya Badami. I am one of the professors in the Department of Political Science and Criminal Justice and a supervising attorney at the Community Legal Information Center cl uh, Clinic. <laughs> Click. Can you understand me with the mask on? Yeah, I can hear you awesome. pretty clearly. Hi, my name is Frankie. I'm one of the administrative directors here at Click, and I'm also a fourth year student at Chico State, majoring in legal studies and minoring in criminal justice. That's amazing. Okay, so where are you right now, and what happens in the space that you're in? We are in the Click offices, which is one of the few places on campus where a very select group of students is permitted to be one at a time and masked. <laughs> during the COVID crisis, because these are the student leaders that are actually running the Community Legal Information Clinic. It's the headquarters are right across the street from campus. And students who enroll in CLIC take a class, um, which is an internship in law. So our students, under the supervision of Frankie and her partner, Russell, who are both seniors this year and have gone through all of the CLIC classes up to now, our students take in questions from members of the public on legal matters in 11 different areas like family law and disability law and workers' rights. And uh, they do legal research and then provide information to the public for free to help them with their legal issues. Wow. So that's I'd... what we do in this building. <laughs> I had no idea about all of the amazing things that you guys do there. I'm so glad I'm getting the chance to learn about this as well. Yeah. Um, I, so my next question is for Frankie. What has been your favorite experience in the program so far? Um, definitely being a program director because um, I had my own set of interns last year. So definitely get to teach them about a specific area of law and then getting to help the community directly just because you get to see an impact you have on the community and 
a lot of people don't have a lot of options, so they come to us as their last resort. So it's nice to be able to navigate them and support them through their complex legal issues since the law can be pretty confusing. Wow, that's great. Um, and then what, um, what lesson or topic would you say gets students most excited to just learn um, within your program? Well, I would say that we have a huge criminal justice uh, contingent. We have five different majors in political science and criminal justice. And the biggest one of all is criminal justice. That's a lot of students who are interested in law enforcement, corrections, and possibly in practicing criminal law. I think people are very excited about the real world implications of that subject. And um, we have a lot of really great classes in, in and relating to criminal law and criminal justice. Oh, that's amazing. Um, so what, what would you say that you love about Chico State students? Well, I mean, <laughs> they're amazing. <laughs> they're hugely service oriented. Of course, when you work in CLIC, you're working with about 100 students who are all serving the public for free and trying to help them out. Um, they're, you know, they're really devoted. They're interested in, uh, in changing the world. I mean, all these criminal justice and legal studies majors are really wanting to get in there and fix all the things that they are perceiving that are not functioning well about our legal system. And I really, I love that about them. They're very energized. Wow. And then this is back for Frankie. What do you love about Chico State's faculty? Um, just that they care about their students so much. They offer so much support, so many resources. It's nice to get to know them on a professional and a personal level because, I mean, I have her as a teacher and also one of my bosses. So it's definitely <laughs> nice to learn and see, you know, how they act outside of the office and definitely get to know them on a more personal level because they truly care about their students. This is true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and for everybody who is out there like submitting applications and maybe going back and forth between a couple colleges that they've applied through, um, I think it would be really helpful if they could know why you chose Chico. Um, yeah, well, I come from Northeast Los Angeles, so. I chose it. I actually went to choose Chico, visited the campus, and I fell in love the first day. So I decided that day. It's it's definitely a good school, and um, yeah, there's a lot of opportunities here. Yeah, that's amazing. Anything else that you guys would like to add about your program, um, just in general, or just uh, choose Chico? Yeah. <laughs> Internship um, opportunities in fall and spring, um, and they're three units each, uh, 11 different departments. Uh, we also have an updated website, so if you search the Community Legal Information Clinic, you can find all of our programs, student stories, um, some events we have, and just learn a little more about us. Wow. Okay, thank you so much for joining us. I thank really you. enjoyed getting to learn about your program. Awesome, yes. thank, thank you. you. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so that was amazing just to learn about all of that community outreach and things that they do. Um, something that I'm not really even exposed to that much within my program. But next up, um, we are going to take a look into the geography and planning department. Um, so we're going to get someone involved in that on here. Um, so I've just invited them. And so while they're connecting, um, yeah, I'm really excited to learn about geography and planning. It's another program that I personally don't have a lot of um, experience in, even though it is in my um, same college. Um, but I've known a couple people who took some classes there. Hi. Uh, hello. Hi. Can you go ahead and introduce How yourself you? to everybody? I'm doing amazing. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Okay. Can you introduce yourself for everyone watching? Yeah, hi. Uh, my name is Don Hankins, and I'm in the Department of Geography and Planning. I'm a pyrogeographer, and uh, I'm actually hired as an environmental geographer, but I'm more known as a pyrogeographer. And I'm also the field director for the Big Chico Creek Ecological Reserve and the Butte Creek Ecological Reserve. Wow. Um, so where are you right now, um, and what happens there? That's a great question. I'm about 20 miles northeast of campus right now in the community of Forest Ranch in an area where we burned back in um, 1998 in February. And I worked with students from our department and other students on campus and alumni to bring fire to the community of Forest Ranch and the forest that I'm actually standing in, working with other partners from the Chico area 
because this area hasn't burned in over 100 years. And we're trying to restore fire back to this landscape for biodiversity and also for protection of the uh, wildland urban interface environment that I'm in. Wow, that's amazing. Can you tell us a little bit more about what it is that you research and teach? Sure. Yeah. So I uh, obviously I study fire. That's one big thing that I look at. Um, I, I teach a course called pyrogeography. I teach another course in water resources and another one in, in restoration and stewardship. And I, I combine that work with uh, my research interest in those areas, also with indigenous stewardship, to think about how we can use those particular practices of indigenous communities and communities to re-engage within the landscape and restore and steward our resources. So we're not hopefully seeing the types of fires we're experiencing and also the uh, need for stewarding our water resources. Yeah, wow, what an amazing goal just because of everything that's going on right now. So what would you say get students um, excited? What like lessons or what things that you teach get um, students really excited? Well, I'm a little biased, I suppose, that I think the pyrogeography course brings a lot of people interested in it. I get students from all across campus that take that class. I have people from all around the world that want to come and take that class. And I think it's a, it's a fun class to, to take. Um, and it's also a fun class to teach because we can get out in the field. We can learn about fire. We can use fire within the landscape. And there's just so many things that, that affect us around fire. So I, I think that's a class that really brings a lot of people an interest in. Um, and I just really enjoy it, and the students enjoy it as well. Well, it's amazing. Everybody watching, make sure you write that class name down so you can be sure to take it. Uh, it's in such high demand. Geography. Um, okay, and lastly, um, what is it that you love about Chico State students? What I really love about Chico State students is their interest in learning how to solve real-world problems, and I think with my work out on the ecological reserves in particular, I get the opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with students to do projects like prescribed burning and like watershed management and those kinds of things. And I think that those are really important opportunities for students to engage in and gives them real world experience to be able to then go out and do things on their own once they leave Chico State or pursue a master's degree or whatever they decide to do beyond uh, their time at Chico State. So there's lots of opportunities within our department, um, not just obviously in the things that I teach, but we have uh, planning, we have, you know, the cultural side of geography, and I know that you'll be hearing from one of our students here in a moment about those sorts of things, but um, I think that those are things that I think are really important. And geography is just a really well-rounded discipline. It's very interdisciplinary by nature, so a lot of people tend to overlook it, but I think there's a lot that we have to offer that, that might attract people to the, the program. Wow, that's Absolutely fascinating, everything that you um, do. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today and telling everybody a little yeah. bit about that. Let me, let me do one quick uh, down canyon shot. I'm going to just oh. do a, a picture uh, showing wow. what it looks like from where I'm at. So we're looking at um, Butte Creek Canyon, um, and then the distant ridge is Paradise. And this canyon is a very important place uh, in terms of our – uh, local environment. We have uh, spring run Chinook salmon that come into this canyon and this particular place where I'm at hasn't burned in a hundred years and when we haven't had fire here that puts that system at risk but when we think about the campfire burning across that ridge in the distance in 1990 or uh, 2018 um, that's the kind of thing that we are trying to protect is our communities and the environment around us. So I'll just share that and uh, I'll, I'll look forward to hearing what Chelsea has to say. Wow, that's so amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, I loved seeing that and getting to learn about something that I've had so little exposure to. Um, so next up, we're going to invite a student from um, the Geography and Planning Department to come talk to y'all. Let me make sure that I can find her. Okay, I've just invited her and we're waiting for everybody new. I see a bunch of new people are coming on. We are doing a tour of the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences. Um, and so I'm really excited to welcome everybody on. And so this is Chelsea. Hi, Chelsea. Hi. Um, can you go ahead Hello. and uh, introduce Hi. yourself um, for everybody watching? For everybody watching? Yes, I can. Okay, so I'm a human geography teacher, and I'm in uh, basically my senior year, but I have been for like a year. So I'm a human geography major, and that basically means that we study the locations of humans on the planets and why they cluster the way that they do. Uh, John is actually one of the physical geography teachers. In geography, we have two options. We have human geography and physical geography. And then we also have two certificate options. We have GIS certificates, and we also have a planning certificate. 
in an environmental science one. Uh, so one of the really cool things about um, geography is actually it's a very small community. We have about 80 students. So every single class is going to be like 20 or 12 people. <laughs> you will get to know each other. Uh, we have a club on campus, actually. So the club is called Latitude 39, and I'm the treasurer, <laughs> which is just astonishing to me. How would you trust me? Um, <laughs> this is Latitude 39's club, actually. So if you see any emails, we might have this little symbol on there. You might also see Tr Tr Trisha. She's our president. Um, but Latitude 39 really focuses on training students to get out there and like get in the job market and we kind of hang out together. We can go on hikes, we can do creek cleanups. Um, we focus on getting career development advice though from the Geography Planning Board. This is their website. It looks so pretty. Um, sorry, that's the BCR, I believe, which is where Don was uh, just at. So, hey, <laughs> Don. Anyways. Um, they are mainly uh, Chico State alumni, so they're people who have gone through the same thing you did, and, and they know the campus, but there's also other people who graduated in other areas, and they work with us to review things like resumes, do mock job interviews, they um, hold meetings, like uh, there was a fire chat, which was talking about the campfire and the GIS maps that uh, they made. Um, let's see. What else do we got going on? Oh, you all. I'm so glad Dean showed it because this picture does not do it justice. This is actually in the winter time. I know this is my home away from home. Caitlin, this probably is for you too, huh? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes. um, most of the time we're actually on the fifth floor here. This is our computer lab on this side. And then we have one other classroom, but the rest of the floor is uh, like for uh, one other um, place. And then I think on the third floor is anthropology, right? Okay. Yeah, I spend most yeah, of my I time, on the, time on the third floor. Yeah, but it's so pretty when you look out the windows and you just like see Mendocino in the distance. And um, if you look the other way, you know, you can see up to uh, Christopher Branch and stuff. It's so great. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, what do I have on my notes? Um, oh, I have another question, oh, for, another you. question for you. If you could just um, tell us what is it that you love about Chico State about faculty? Chico State faculty. Oh, okay. Let's. Skip one slide. All right, cool. <laughs> Let me bring up the Chico State faculty picture, actually. I'm going to add some people. Aha. Okay, this is LaDonna. She's actually the head of geography and planning. She's an amazing woman who just wants you to be part of geography and find your passion in it. Uh, this is Peter Hansen. He's actually in charge of the GeoPlace internship, which is what I'm a part of, and I'll show you some maps from it. Uh, this is Dr. Lazarus and Dean. They'll talk to you about GIS, and they actually like have very specific disciplines like uh, climate change and hazards. Uh, this is Don. Um, this is Jessie. Uh, she's a very integral part. She is in charge of basically. Uh, she's she's in charge of our office, and if you need anything, you go to her. She knows things. <laughs> um, let's see who else we got. We got Scott Brady. Uh, I'm like blanking on other people, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, they have amazing classes and they're really dedicated to their craft. So I love their faculty and our staff. Um, there's not everyone pictured here, but like Claudia Stewart is another one. Um, she teaches you at CEQA, which is basically how you make any building in California. So I know that at Chico State Admissions, we talk to like construction and the engineering department. If you wanna get anything built, you have to write a CEQA document in California or a NEPA document. And that is basically a clearance and an environmental studies uh, report. <laughs> and it's very boring, but if we're building things, we have to do it. <laughs> it's like very boring. Uh, so let's just show maps. And if you have any other questions, let me know. This is Chatham Town in Chico. We mapped it for sidewalk accessibility. All of that area is no sidewalks. <laughs> And this is all green, which means good sidewalks. Um, let's talk about GeoPlace for a sec. So GeoPlace is my internship, actually. Um, I'm one of the spots. There's only two. So a way to get into it is um, taking 211, 219, and 313. So 211 and 219 are your introductory courses to GIS. And then to, uh, 313 is cartography, which starts with Dr. Lazarus, who's actually in charge of this program, Peter Hansen. And um, you 
you just learn the basics. And then this internship really actually teaches you about how to set up web apps like this. This is actually, you enter your address, and then you get to know which city council district you're voting in. So it'll, it'll let you know who do you vote for <laughs> if your ballot doesn't already tell you. Um, what are the other cool things that we did? Uh, Don talked about the campfire, so I'm going to talk a little bit about it. This is actually a distribution map of where campfire survivors left to. So they may have left to Chico, they may have stayed in California, but they also went across the United States. So we got all of their addresses and we followed them. <laughs> that is that absolutely is amazing. amazing. So we are on a little so bit of a time crunch. We want to finish it within the hour. Within the yeah. hour. Um, so do you have any last um, remarks so last about, about the geography and planning department, department that you want everybody to know everybody before we, know before we um, um, say hi to somebody say else? Say hi to somebody else. Okay. Um, last thing. The reason why I chose Tico is because it's close to home, but it feels like I'm an adult. And I'm 26 and I'm still young. And it was the internship that sunk it. It was the internship. It was the ability to actually like learn my craft. So that was it. <laughs> That's amazing. That's Thank amazing. you so Thank much you for so joining much us for and telling us a little bit about your experience. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How do I get off this thing? I press the Okay. That was so amazing to hear about her experience and all sorts of other things. And um, I definitely relate to that. I love being so close to home. I'm originally from the East Bay, and so I feel like I can still be connected to my parents and family, but um, I love being independent. And just the community in Chico is also something that she talked about that I really appreciate as well. Um, so next up, we are going to talk to somebody from the Gender and Sexuality Equity Coalition. Um, and so let's, I just invited her to come on. So for anyone just joining us, we are doing a tour of the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences. So we're learning all about that. Hello. Hi. Can Our, you in, um, can you introduce yourself for everybody? Yeah, of course. Um, can you hear me good? Yes. Okay, hey, great. Um, my name is Camelia. I am an intern coordinator at the Gender and Sexuality Equity Coalition. I use she, her pronouns. And I'm also a fifth year at Chico State. Wow. Okay. So um, what is it that... Um, that uh, sorry, what has been one of your favorite um, experiences in within the program? So um, what GSEC does basically is we basically strive to empower students through activism. So I would say my favorite thing about GSEC is having just the students so involved when it comes to activism and all the events that we do. Unfortunately, right now they are, the events are going to be online, but um, we're yeah. still trying to have those events and just, we're just very dedicated to um, striving for equality for all and kind of, you know, spreading that message. It's great. Absolutely. What would you say gets students um, most excited? Um, with That's a great question. Um, oh, wow. I, I think our events are very fun. Like we have the drag show, we have the women's conference, uh, trans resilience conference. It's, it's really great. And another thing that gets students excited is that because we are a student run program, um, they're very involved. And well, we are very involved. I'm a student as well. <laughs> um, yeah, so just being very involved and feeling like we're actually making a direct change. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. amazing. Um, so you said you are a student also, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, so what would you say, what do you love about like Chico State faculty and like the program that you've gotten to be a part of? Um, wow, it's, it's a lot. Uh, I'm part of the MCGS program. And um, I would say my favorite thing about the faculty is just their devotion when it comes to supporting students and making sure that we're always comfortable even during challenging times. Um, it's really a beautiful thing. Yeah. And lastly, why did you choose Chico? I chose Chico, Chico because it was a home away from home for me. Um, I'm from Sacramento, and I definitely just wanted to attend somewhere very energetic, and um, I definitely made the right choice. Awesome. Anything else you want to add or let everybody know? Um, we do have some events coming up. We have the Women's Conference as well as Trans, Re uh, Trans Week of Resilience coming up. So definitely follow our page at Chico State GSEC underscore, and we're going to keep you all updated. Thank you so much for this. Yeah. Thank you for coming and telling us about it. Of course. Bye. Have a good day. You too. Um, yeah, that's amazing. I definitely relate to what she was talking about, the community. I feel like I've also made Chico my home in a lot of ways, and I'm so happy for the opportunity. Everyone up here is so tight-knit. 
it really does feel like a small town. Um, so next we are going to go to the child development um, department. And so I am going to invite on that faculty. Let's make sure that I can. Um, there we go, got it. So I just sent that invitation, um, sorry. Um, and then we'll get to talk to some faculty in that department. For anybody who has just joined, this is a tour of the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences at Chico State. So um, we're just learning about all of the different majors and programs um, that are offered here. Um, it absolutely looks like they're still connecting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat for our um, people that we're interviewing so we can um, get the chance to ask them what you want to know. Hmm. Looks like we're still connecting. Sometimes, as you all probably know, technology can be a little bit difficult. Wi-Fi um, can also be a problem. So hopefully she can get on here pretty quick. Um, let's see. It looks like that they are unable to join. Oh, I got a really good question. What advice do I have for first year students? So we're waiting um, for them to hopefully connect again. Um, I'll just, my experience, like I'm a senior now. So something that I um, really, like when I was a first year student, something that I really made a point to do was go to my professor's office hours. Cause they're so friendly. As you can see, just the faculty that you've talked to already has been so um, willing to help. They're always willing to like take some time to help you. And I've actually, ne I'd never experienced that anywhere else. Some people who cared so much about my individual um, uh, education. And so uh, that's something that I recommend to first year students definitely um, visit office hours. And hi, I'm glad you could make it on. Hi, I am so sorry. So I guess the word is the building where we're at is notorious for bad reception. So I'm sorry, <laughs> we've been watching, there might be a delay, but I'm gonna try to stay right here and talk a little bit. And yeah. the student that was with me was really excited to talk, but she had to run off to work because our amazing students balance school and work and life. So you, you get me for a little bit of time right now. Yeah, absolutely. So um, can you introduce yourself for everybody? Yeah, hi, I'm Lindsay Nenadal, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Child Development. And I am actually right now standing in a space that I'm excited to show you. I think that's the next question, though, so I won't. Yeah, um, so what is, where are you right now? Yeah, and so we are really lucky. We get to have access to a wonderful preschool on campus. It's the Associated Student Child Development Lab, and there's multiple preschool classrooms here. So a lot of the work that we do, we get to observe children and watch children. And even as you work your way up through our program, we have internships where you can work in the classrooms. So right now I'm standing in the outside space and you can see behind me all the fun kids stuff. Wow. Yeah, it's a wonderful space. And I was standing inside. We have a great lab where you can sit and you can observe and take notes and watch children in real time. And unfortunately that's where the reception is really bad. So I'm gonna just stand right out here and you get to observe all the wonderful outside toys and things we have out here for our children. That is amazing. So what is it that you specifically teach? So I teach a class um, called the School Age Child, which focus on, uh, focuses on elementary school children development. And I think that's an, a really important piece to cover is even though we're child development and we have access to preschool classrooms, child development is really talking about everything from prenatal development all the way through um, adolescence and early adulthood. So we all focus on different areas and my specialty is elementary school development. Um, but then I also teach an observation class where again, we use the space here to observe children in real time and um, get to learn about children kind of face to face. That's awesome. Um, so what is it that you would say gets students excited to you? Oh my gosh, students are excited when you get to see the kids and talk to children and experience it like I said, right here in this place right now. So even right now, even though our classes are online, we still have access to being able to watch the children in the lab and being able to observe them. So I think these opportunities, and then again, we have great internships where our students are placed at different sites throughout the um, city um, where they get to be able to do work in person with children and families. That's amazing. Okay, and last question, what is it that you love about Chico State students? 
Oh my gosh. I love Chico State students. I love Chico State. I love this program. And something that I really love about our students particularly is I really feel like we're family here. This department, this, um, just the school in general, we are one big family. We support each other. We know each other. We know about our lives, personal lives, professional lives, student lives. And we're all here just to support each other and work together. And um, yeah, it's just a great place to be. That sounds absolutely amazing. I love learning about your program. It's definitely not a place that I get to uh, like explore child development. I know, come over to our side of campus. <laughs> check us out absolutely thank you so much for thank just you. joining us and telling us about your amazing program yes thank you for having us and again sorry about the reception difficulties but no but... problem okay have a great day right. um okay and so that was um it, those are the departments that we get to explore and before we go say goodbye i'm going to turn it back over to the dean of the college um and so i'm going to invite um, him to come back up and say some closing remarks just to everyone. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. And so I've been so excited to learn about some of these things. Um, but, oh, hi again. You made it back on. Yeah, I've been having trouble like everybody else uh, staying with a constant feed. Anyway, uh, yeah, I want to thank everybody for joining us on this live feed. Um, I think you were getting a sense of what it's like to be on this Chico State campus, what the students are like and what the faculty are, what the faculty are, are like. Um, this is a great place to be. And as you are thinking about your future career uh, and in your college experience, please keep Chico State uh, on your radar. We are really one big family. We are uniformly committed to your success because well, quite frankly, your success is exactly equal to our success. And, uh, and so I'm really proud of the folks with whom I work. And I thought the presenters did a really good job today giving you a sense of what it's like to be on this great Chico State campus. And so uh, what I'm going to do is try this once again. Uh, I think I'm having difficulties. If you can hear me. Go Wildcats. Yeah, I can show you. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Bye, everybody. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. And for everybody who watches later, thank you so much for watching later. Have a wonderful day. And I hope you learned something today because I know I did. Um, bye, everyone.